Chapter on what is disliked of asking too many questions and of troubling oneself with what does not concern one. And the statement of Allah, Ask not about things which, if made plain to you, may cause you trouble. Quran, chapter 5, verse 101. Narrated Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The worst in crime among the Muslims is the one who asked about something which had not been prohibited, but was prohibited because of his asking. Narrated Zad bin Thabit, the Prophet, peace be upon him, took a room made of date palm leaves mats in the mosque. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, offered prayers in it for a few nights till the people gathered to offer the night prayer, Tarawi, behind him. Then on the fourth night the people did not hear his voice and they thought he had slept, so some of them started humming in order that he might come out. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then said, You continued doing what I saw you doing till I was afraid that this Tarawi prayer might be enjoined on you, made obligatory on you, and if it were enjoined on you, you would not continue performing it. Therefore, O people, perform your salah prayers at your homes. For the best prayer of a person is what is performed at his home except the compulsory congregational prayer. See Volume 8, Hadith number 6113. Narrated Abu Musa al-Ash'ari. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, was asked about things which he disliked, and when the people asked too many questions, he became angry and said, Ask me any question. A man got up and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, who is my father? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Your father is Hudayfa. Then another man got up and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, who is my father? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Your father is Salim, Mola, the freed slave of Sheba. When Omar saw the signs of anger on the face of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, he said, We repent to Allah. Narrated Warad, the clerk of al mughira Wa'aviyah wrote to al mughira Write to me what you have heard from Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. So he, al mughira wrote to him, Allah's Prophet, peace be upon him, used to say at the end of each salah, prayer, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu, lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu, wa huwa ala kulli shayin kadir. Allahumma la mania, lima a'tayta, wa la mu'tia, lima mana'ta, وَلَا يَنْفَعُ ذَا جَدَّ مِنْكَ الْجَدُّ None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, the alone who has no partner. He is the kingdom, and to him praises must be, and he is able to do everything. O Allah, nobody can withhold what you give, and nobody can give what you withhold, and hard efforts by anyone, or good luck or riches, for anything cannot benefit one against your will and decisions. He also wrote to him that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to forbid one, keel, and kal, sinful and useless talk like backbiting, or that you talk too much about others. Two, asking too many questions in disputed religious matters. Three, and wasting one's wealth by extravagance. Four, and to be undutiful to one's mother. Five, and to bury the daughters alive. Six, and to prevent your favors, benevolence to others, that is, not to pay the rights of others zakat, charity, etc. 7. And begging, to beg of men or asking others for something except when it is unavoidable. See Hadith number 844. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. We were with Umar and he said, We have been forbidden to undertake a difficult task beyond our capability, that is, to exceed the religious limits, for example, to clean the inside of eyes while doing ablution. Narrated Anas bin Malik, May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came out after the sun had declined and offered the Zuhr prayer in congregation. After finishing it with the Slim, he stood on the pulpit and mentioned the hour and mentioned there would happen great events before it. Then he said, Whosoever wants to ask me any question may do so, for by Allah you will not ask me about anything, but I will inform you of its answer as long as I am at this place of mine. On this, the Ansar wept violently. And Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, kept on saying, Ask me. Then a man got up and asked, Where will my entrance be, O Allah's Messenger? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, You will go to the fire. Then Abdullah bin Hudayfa got up and asked, Who is my father, O Allah's Messenger? Peace be upon him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Your father is Hudayfa. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then kept on saying angrily, 
ask me, ask me. Umar then knelt on his knees and said, We accept Allah as our Lord and Islam as our religion and Muhammad, peace be upon him, as our messenger. Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, became quiet when Umar said that. Then Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, By him in whose hand my soul is, paradise and hell were displayed before me across this wall while I was offering salah, prayer, and I never saw such good and evil as I have seen today. Narrated Anas bin Malik, May Allah be pleased with him. A man said, O Allah's Prophet, who is my father? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Your father is so and so. And then the divine verse, O you who believe, ask not about things. Quran, chapter 5, verse 101. Narrated Anas bin Malik, May Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, People will not stop asking questions till they say, This is Allah, the creator of everything. Then who created Allah? Narrated Ibn Masood, May Allah be pleased with him. I was with the Prophet, peace be upon him, at one of the farms of al Madina while he was leaning on a date palm leaf stalk. He passed by a group of Jews, and some of them said to the other, Ask him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, about this spirit. Some other said, Do not ask him, lest he should tell you what you dislike. But they went up to him and said, O Abul Qasim, inform us about Aruh, the spirit. The Prophet, peace be upon him, stood up for a while, waiting. I realized that he was being inspired divinely, so I kept away from him till the inspiration was over. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, And they ask you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, concerning the Ruh, the spirit, say, The Ruh, it is one of the things, the knowledge of which is only with my Lord, Allah. Quran, chapter 17, verse 85. This is a miracle of the Qur'an that all the scientists up till now do not know about Aruh, the spirit, that is how life comes to a body and how it goes away at its death. See Hadith number 125 and 4721.